Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers, working on the base. Uh, last time we completed the cargo hauler, and I think once the storm clears off, I'm going to go over to that iron rock and see if uh, we can't uh, grind it down and at least get some more resources here <laughs> uh, that would you know give us uh, some more iron uh, quite a bit more iron uh, I did a little house clean cleaning around here I moved that storage bin that was going to ultimately be in the way right here so I moved it up and put it onto the deck uh, I've kind of started to kind of try to lay out where I want to start my refinery processing and that's going to consist of a refinery uh, an ore crusher and an ore purifier now I can't build the uh, ore purifier and I don't think I can build the rock crusher yet just a second here let me uh, get over actually gee if we go into the power so the ore purifier as you can see takes laser emitters advanced computers uh, gold wire all uh, you know a lot of stuff that we just don't have we don't have any we actually do have a gold rock so we might be able to get enough <coughs> gold out of that for everything that we're going to need but we don't have the ability to do an advanced computer yet and so we're going to be working on that the rock crusher I can build with the exception of ceramic and I think that is going to be the next production line that I build and let's see that is going to be uh, that right there the ceramics furnace uh, I can build it uh, since we can do metal grids now so I'm going to uh, uh, try to get that built today and I'm thinking about putting it in somewhere over here maybe connect it into the plate stamp right here and then uh, uh, we'll be able to always have access the plate stamp from different ports but I think I might drop it in right there actually let's go ahead and do that uh, let's uh, uh, get into the inventory uh, actually that's not what I want uh, let's go to here and G that's the ceramics furnace Oh, that's the cement okay yeah we want the ceramics furnace and we'll just bring it down drop it right there that thing is huge as with all of these things uh, it has a port there I think that's a port and it has a port there uh, I'm not sure if that's a port or not but if we connect it right into here it would go right there snap into place right there and that would uh, give us the ability to start doing ceramics which we're going to need to start doing uh, uh, some of the other uh, production uh, uh, modules. Let me grab a uh, some steel and uh, plate. That's a steel plate. Oh, we can't grab that out of there, but we can grab. 10 or 20 out of there so we should be able to put this down now so let's see if that will 
it is three wide so that would have to go right there uh, you know what I don't want to block everything off block that up like that I wonder can we we do have a port here but our power poles are going to be in the way well you know what I think I can do let me lay this out I wonder Energy low. I wonder if I can go ahead and just pipe it instead of trying to connect it directly uh, if I can build this out this away and then I can run pipes from there over to the ceramics kiln and then that'll tie it in everything will have access to its uh, products I, let me lay that out and I'll see how that uh, looks at least get the wireframe out I'll get the cement because I do need to build this out this way anyway a little bit for everything that we have so uh, let me uh, get that wire framed out and then we'll take a look at it okay I got the base laid out I think uh, this is going to fit in here let's uh, let me just put the wire frame on it and let's see how it looks let's go four I think right there that's right up yeah that's so I think we got to plug that in right there and then uh, well I guess I'm gonna have to build the darn thing to see where well it's gonna be right in the center let's do this I think I should be able to Let's, yeah. Uh, ceramics furnace. Okay, let, uh, let's go ahead and do this then. Uh, three, let's go to G conveyors and cargoes now I could put a couple of conveyor junctions down and I actually might do that put a conveyor junction here now I can always move this if I have to I might just do that move it over one but I will get to that uh, put a conveyor junction down and then put a pipe and then that will give me the ability although what I like to do and I actually think this is what I'm gonna do is although I got to use my aluminum plates I think I'm going to throw a cargo container here which acts as a junction but it also acts as a port to be able to access uh, things from right here although I don't know how much I'm going to need to do that in this area right here so I may just stick to uh, actually I may just stick to doing this let's uh, Energy low. Uh, let's drop this down here and I could just put a pipe there and then a corner coming into it which I kinda like that as well so let's 
do this. Let's do that. And then we want to put a corner right here. And that should, although I wanted to do those in different color, uh, although I got the paint gun now, I could fix that real easily. Okay, let me get this uh, welded up and we'll see how this is going to look. Okay, I uh, have the ceramic furnace in, and it uh, uh, looks pretty good, actually. I think it fits pretty well here. I've got it connected up with just pipes, and I like the looks of that. So uh, it is all tied in. I can access the other ports from here. So if I wanted to go to the extruder I can grab my stuff out of here and uh, the smelter if I needed to go to the smelter I can get to it uh, so now what we need to make so let me go production actually control and let's set our let's armor glass we don't need to worry about it yet let's set our glass at 100 and we'll set our ceramics at 100 now the ceramic needs carbon and we can get carbon from coal and I can run the coal through the refinery when I get it built which I'm going to put out here and I think what I want to do with the refinery and such is run it underground instead of having the pipes up above I think that'll present a little bit of a challenge so basically we'll have an underground network of pipes underneath the base now with these all structures all being so open and in my mind you're not going to enclose these now as what I'd like to do is over in this area maybe put the plate stamp and all of this into a enclosed facility or maybe just right here and then all of the smaller production facilities will go inside I haven't decided on that yet I am going to have to uh, have some buildings and so you know some control what I would like to always set up is control centers and such so uh, that's kind of part of the plans is to steadily work this out but we do have a ceramics plant now so we've made some progress there uh, the other thing I wanted to do is go to that iron rock and I need to actually empty this stuff out Let's get this into the smelter. Uh, let's unload this stuff. And I could just, I'm going to put, uh, I don't want to put it all in, but we'll put a couple into, we'll put another one into the uh, smelter. And actually the smelter is going through the cobalt faster than I am used to, I think. And so let's grab 
these. And then we'll throw those in over here. And then the smelter can grab those when it's ready. And then we'll put the rest... in that other container. Ah, you know what? It's going through it fairly quickly. Ah, let's just throw it in there. That makes more sense. We've got the power. And then we're going to go after, after that iron rock. Looks like we got the smelter full. Okay, we got that empty. I sh probably should check my food. Uh, looks like I'm good on everything. I think I'll empty that. I'm gonna just toss those in over here. that used up and then we can toss it into there. There we go. Now, oh, shoot. Uh, oh. Well, oh, I, what did I do? All right. Let's grab our water back. That's what I did wrong. There we go. Okay. That's used up. And, like I said, I think we're good. We're good on food. Uh, yeah. So, let's grab the cargo hauler and we'll head out to that rock let me get the GPS oh, turned on rock rock iron and let's show that on the HUD and we'll go uh, heading out that way and who knows maybe we'll find something else out there so uh, let's turn our batteries on and let's make sure I got the ore detector on. I should probably, actually that's what I'm going to do is, uh, oh I do have them. So let's turn it on. Okay. And I think that rock, where is it? The rock is out that way. All right, once I get out to the rock, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, we just pulled into the iron rock, and I'm just getting parked here. Let's let's park that, and. Uh, it's in a bit of a precarious spot, but I think we can get this all pretty well mined out. So I'm going to start mining on this, and uh, uh, hopefully we can get most of this iron uh, mined out in this trip. 
Uh, we'll finish out with rock, whatever we can't get on the iron. So I'm going to get to mining, and then as soon as I uh, kind of wrap this up, I'll uh, get back with you. Okay, I am, the sun's going down, and I've got this thing loaded to the hilt. Uh, all the cargo boxes are loaded. I'm loaded. The pilot seat is loaded, so let's see if we can get back uh, here in the dark. I was trying to avoid that. Let's see if we can get off of this hillside here. It's a bit of a rough area out here where this is at. We still got some iron left in there, so we didn't fully deplete it. And obviously I didn't find any more resources coming out here. So this is a bit of a tricky, rough area. But it's navigable. The smooth voxel mod helps an awful lot. Uh, we still have bumps and terrain and stuff, but at least we can kind of get through some of this area. Alright, once I get back to base, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, we are back into base here. Let me get pulled in here and parked. Oop, wrong way. There we go. All right, park. Uh, let's uh, let's turn that off. I think everything else is good. Uh, actually, let me. Put the batteries over to recharge. Get out of here. And we can uh, connect this to the base. Oh, that's remove. That's, uh... There we go. That's connected and charging. Alright. Let's see how that uh, cobalt is doing. Oh! Oh! looks like it's just about done and look at that we've got almost 11 12,000 uh, kilograms of cobalt so we should be good for a while on cobalt and so let's go ahead and uh, get the iron going get that in there I'm probably gonna have to build another Another small cargo container here, and I think that's what I'm going to do because we're going to start filling this thing up with resources. So we need to actually get busy and start using some of them. Uh, so let me get this unloaded. At least get some of the iron going. Uh, this will help a lot because we're going to start using a lot of steel plates and girders and stuff. So, and I grabbed any stone that was uh, ground out as well because that's going to give us nickel and silicon, uh, which is going to be, we're going to need that anyway, so that, that's good stuff. We can get the smelter full. And then uh, we'll leave the rest sit in the cargo truck. Okay, that's that. We'll dump the rest over here. All right, let's build a small cargo container here. We got some aluminum plates. And let me change that color back. 
I think it'll go right there. So let's just grab everything that we need. And then we'll just... Uh, let's get everything looking right. There we go. Alright, that gives us some excess overflow because some of these other components or production facilities is pushing stuff over to that small cargo that other small cargo container and so we were filling up fairly fast with it all right so that's that so let's get back to the refinery i'm going to plug it in out here let me show you what i'm thinking go uh, production let's bring this down what I'm thinking is so I can plug it in right here and either turn it this way or if we turn it that way I want to be able to hook on a connector so once we get uh, actually I'm think I'm going about this thinking about this wrong a little bit I need to put my ore purifier out here first I can't build it I can get the frame up actually let's do that because the ore has to go through uh, actually let me correct that again. It actually has to go through the rock crusher first. And I can build that with ceramic. Uh, so let's put that up. And so this is going to look like this. And I have... I have just... I have two ports. One up top, as you can see. And one on the bottom. Now, that will go in first, so the stone and the ore and everything will go through the rock crusher first, which will break down the ore. In essence, these are like your upgrades for the refinery and the vanilla. Uh, we don't have that here in this mod, so we need to use the rock crusher. And so it would go in here. Then if we go to the ore purifier this is what it looks like and it takes advanced computers and basic computers so it would go in next the problem with these is I need to allow space for them so I'm going to just kind of put them in but I'm going to have an underground system so this rock crusher has or this rock purifier has two ports on it, one there and one there. So this can tie into the rock crusher and I will have uh, the refiner, I'm gonna set, I think I'm gonna set the refinery up right here and then I can connect those. That way these can be added on right into the refinery fairly easily. So, let me do this. Let's grab the refinery down. Which, that's the next thing that has to go in anyway. So, we've got ports on top. We can always plumb in through the top. We've got a port on the bottom. And we got ports on... Uh, get turned around there. we got ports there on that side. And we've got a port on this side. So we got lots of ports to work with. And so I think if I put it on this corner right here. Somewhere right about here. If I turn it like this. Then I can put 
a connector on here to start with uh, I can then easily uh, remove the connector or I can plumb in through the top uh, over to my ore purifier and ore or rock crusher and the idea is that it goes to the rock crusher, it goes to the ore purifier, and then it comes into the refinery to produce the ingots. So let me go get some steel. Uh, well, first off, I need to finish. Let me uh, uh, first get the base filled in and weld it up. And then when I'm ready to throw down the, the refinery, I'll, uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, I think I've kind of devised a little bit of a plan here. Uh, as you probably haven't noticed already, I fly by the seat of my pants. I don't have anything actually designed out, per se. I just kind of build things in my head as I'm going along. So, I mentioned about having an underground uh, uh, system. And so I've kind of ground this out I'm going to put the refinery right here and it will be piped in and I'm going to run it uh, I'll run the piping over underneath that portion of the base over there and connect it into this conveyor port right here Energy. Now, I can always add more conveyor ports along the way, but for right now, that's kind of what I plan on doing. And once I, once I get that in place, then anything that comes in through the refinery uh, will then be able to get sucked in and have access to everything over here. And we've got an unknown signal coming down, so I think I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to get charged up, go grab it, and once I get back from that, because I'm going to need more batteries, and so I might as well go get it as close as it is, and maybe we got some goodies in it. So once I get out there and we'll see what the goodies are, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I'm back at base. There wasn't anything really exciting in the uh, uh, drop pod. Aluminum, aluminum plates, which we can always use aluminum plates since we don't have bauxite yet. But I did get another battery back here. Uh, let me dump these aluminum plates off into the... Uh, into the small container over here. And we can also get rid of the scrap, which is just as important. There we go. That uh, needs to go into the other container, which at some point, once we get this refinery built, then we'll be able to grind down all of this scrap and let me also grab some more iron ore I think that is get this refinery built I think the next step we're going to want to do is create a docking station for this rig so that we don't have to manually move everything like this. Alright, that gets some more of that iron going. 
Okay, back to where we were. Uh, let me do something here. Uh, shoot. Uh, we can turn, delete you. We don't need you. All right. Uh, so, let's, uh, let me go grab my steel again. And we can get the refinery put in place. Let's see. Number four. I think... So in order to connect into the other two, I'm going to have to come out of the top. And so I think, actually, I like this because this is I hope this is gonna no it's not this needs to be turned facing the other way like this yes so that will plug in right there so that is connected to that conveyor which will be connected to uh, piping system over to that junction over there. And then I can lay out the rest of the stuff here. So let me get to working on this refinery. Uh, it won't be able to do much except for stone and coal. It can't do iron. In this mod, uh, this keeps the smelter uh, as an integral part of the process. Uh, this can only do the higher grade stuff like bauxite, uh, titanium, gold, silver, uh, those types of ores. And so, uh, and we can put coal in there and it will create carbon which will allow us to make the ceramics that we need for the other, some of the other components. All right, let me get building on this, and once I get it completed, uh, I'll uh, get the wireframe, I'll get this ground out and get the wireframe uh, on the other process here, and then uh, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I have the refinery in place. And one thing I did notice is that I am going to have to, I think, think about power next. So I think in the next episode, we're going to have to build probably at least another hydrogen engine. And which means I've got to uh, put uh, uh, more ice production and stuff like that in up there because it's just uh, I noticed when everything was running all at once here that uh, things were struggling for energy so uh, I got the refinery in I got this kind of hollowed out and let me double check this let's see one two three, four, five, six. So let's, uh, let's get under here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And there it is, there's the conveyor. So what I want to do here is, well, first off, change the color. And I want to put a conveyor in here and then run piping along here. So I, I'm going to need to get uh, steel. Let's do that. Well, first off, let's do that. And then we'll grab 
additional steel out so that we can at least uh, build out the piping and let's get this into place here and I'm actually gonna have to build these out at least until I get outside uh, let's get that one built I wouldn't I won't be able to I'm gonna have to do these one at a time so once I get out to here uh, I will uh, catch back up with you uh, so let me uh, get this piping in okay I got my piping all connected what I'm gonna do is weld start welding these up uh, I've got the uh, interior the ones that are uh, were already underneath blocks uh, I've got those already uh, welded up and let's see how many of these we can get so we need one two three four five so let's do it like this Okay. Now let's see if we can grab everything. Oh, 17 construction components. I figured that was going to be a problem. There we go. That's all of them. All right, let's get the piping all welded up here. So this is all going to get covered up. We're not going to see this. Okay, and we've got green lights all the way over, which means uh, everything is in place. Now the idea is that I will be, which I can do that now anyway, so let me go grab some girders and at least get the wireframe in place. And that way it can be making more girders anyway. Oh. Is it, uh... Oh, it's busy making tubes. I might have a few more girders stuck over here, maybe. I do. Let's grab these. And let's, uh offload this stuff might as well grab a little more iron get it going and the stone oh I'm full okay Let's get uh, get this in place get some more iron yeah we're you we used a lot of steel so it was a good thing that we probably went and picked up all of this iron ore that we did I'm sure we're probably used quite a bit of it up already especially with that uh, refinery uh, it takes a lot of steel plates so now let me get uh, get this safety hazard taken care of. Oh, let's see. Let's change that color back. All right, get that in there, there, there. Our lighting is going to cause a problem. We'll have to deal with that. But leastwise, we're not going to be falling into a hole here. There we go. All right. So that's the start of our refinery. 
and then I wanted to well let me get this welded up but I want to try to finish today at least get the wireframes in for those other two pieces of production equipment although we can't build them yet at least we will have them in place on where we want to uh, put them and then we can kind of that way we can kind of start planning the rest of our base beyond that let me check check my inventory uh, I need more girders and I need concrete cement blocks let's do this I don't need the steel put that back in let's grab hopefully well it appears to be behind it's working on girders now uh, I must have a bunch of girders somewhere else let me uh, have them over here nope here. Uh, they must be in the other... Let's see. There they are. Alright. Now we can grab these concrete blocks. And I can start. I'm not going to worry about this grid system yet I'm not ready for it but I want to get this one completed out here then I can get the wireframes up okay I have the at least the start of being able to connect it up I have these all welded the uh, concrete base and I had to put a junction in so that uh, we can uh, connect up. So this is, there's a conveyor junction down below that's connected into the conveyor junction that's uh, connected to that refinery, which is all connected up that goes over to there. So now, uh, let's uh, get the ore purifier in place. Uh, three. Uh, is that four? Yeah, that's the ore purifier. I actually want... Oh, I'm going to need some steel plates. This one is, uh, once we get to the, be able to do the advanced computers, then, which is not too far off, actually, as long as we can dig up the m materials. So let me change this back. And then I need to get some steel plates. We're not going to build this. We're just going to get the wireframe in place for this one and the rock crusher. And we'll grab. That should be plenty. Okay, I think we need to turn that around, right, because it's got the upper one, so let's put that right there. Now, if we go to five, oh, that's higher, all right. Well, let's see. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I, I get a little frustrated with this part right here. I, I can't see. All right. So that is not going to connect directly in. I'm going to have to pipe that out. 
So I'll need to put three more blocks out here. And let me do that. Do I have girders on me? Uh, I do. So let's... Uh, Alright, I just can't weld them, but I'll be able to reach those, so I can weld those later. Alright, now let's go to 5, our Rock Crusher. Okay, it's 3 wide. I think that will do it. So we will be able to pipe it in from up above. If you saw that port up above. It's at the top. So we'll be able to run a pipe from there down to the ore purifier. So when I bring ores in... It'll go through the rock crusher, it'll go through the ore purifier, and then it will go directly into the refinery uh, to disperse out from there. Well, it's been about a full day. Uh, we actually got quite a bit accomplished today. We got our refinery in, and it's uh, connected up. We got our ceramics plant in, and it's all hooked up. Uh, we just need to get uh, coal, which I think will be part of the next mission. And the other thing we're going to have to do is uh, we need to increase our power supply. Uh, we at least need to put another hydrogen engine in place so that it will generate enough power. Uh, we're getting closer to being able to start moving into the next tier where we can get advanced computers to where we can build uh, programmable blocks so that we can maybe put up a solar tower uh, and uh, that will generate an awful lot of uh, electricity as well. All right. Well, this is day 14. We made progress. Uh, who knows what day 15 will bring. Uh, we might have to run back up to the monk's uh, hall and see if we can't find some bauxite. Uh, obviously, we're not doing very well here in the valley, and it might be up in amongst those hills someplace to find the bauxite. Anyway, uh, day 14 is wrapped up. Uh, all you space engineers out there, you keep building away, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.